Hello, this is Mark Hubbs with Arisgon Bullet Molds. Today we're going to be talking about someone else's product. The 4th Armory is a small company here in Huntsville, Alabama that produces several products. The owner is Steve Sheldon, and you may have heard me mention his name before. Steve does all the CAD drawings for my bullet molds, and he's quite a historic uh, or firearms historian in his own right. He's especially interested in uh, projectiles and cartridges like I am also. He's producing a set of templates and mandrels for 19th century rifled musket and musket cartridges that I'd like to show you. I think they're quite impressive. Uh, they're a great set if you enjoy making cartridges such as these. And I'll show you more about them in just a moment. But they're, uh, the, the templates themselves are laser cut out of steel, sheet steel, and the mandrels are 3D printed. And they're all done exactly off of the stats produced in the U.S. Ordnance Manual or in the uh, infield version in the British Ordnance Manual. And they'll help you make exact reproduction cartridges such as these. These are for the uh, 69 caliber round ball, uh, the smoothbore musket obviously, and buck and ball. These can be made on the same mandrel and uh, template set. So stick with us and I'll show you a little bit more about them. If you're a 19th century military cartridge geek like I am, the 4th Armory template sets will be very beneficial to you. Now, I've been making cartridges since I was a kid uh, in the 1970s. Uh, it took me a few years after that to realize that there was a, an ordinance manual I could go to to give me the, the dimensions for all these papers. I had to guess until that point. But even then, I would take those dimensions and I would make my templates out of cardboard and then use that uh, and trace around them with a pen on stacks of paper and then try to cut them out with scissors or a paper cutter uh, to make the papers. You don't have to worry about that anymore. And those cardboard, as you know, those cardboard templates won't last very long. You have to redo them over and over again. These are basically a, a, a lifetime investment. Uh, you'll never have to do that again with the, these metal templates. These are uh, laser cut and to the exact dimensions that you need. Uh, his later ones actually have the information for the cartridge engraved on the plate. And you can see these, I've used a, a pencil, an electro pencil to, to put it on there, but the later ones should have that already on. And they'll come with a uh, precision 3D printed mandrel to match them, all set up according to the instructions for the ordnance manual for that particular cartridge. They vary in price according to how many templates are in the set and how many uh, mandrels are in the set. The simplest ones will be a, sing a single template and a single mandrel, and they'll be the least expans uh, expensive, ob obviously. And here's an example. This is for a 69 caliber round ball, and this will make either bucket ball or a round ball cartridge. Another simple one is the model 1862 U.S. cartridge. And you can see I haven't even unwrapped this one yet. It'll be a single template and a single mandrel. The most complex one is for the model 1860 English cartridge. It will have three plates and two mandrels. And it'll make a, a very uh, complex, but the, probably the best cartridge of the uh, rifle musket era, the model 1860 infield. Now also, uh, I'm going to try to do a, a, another video later to show you actually how to how to use these in the process. But uh, I'll also be showing how to bundle cartridges. And you can see here a bundle that has the label printed on the paper. And I'm doing that with these prints or these uh, uh, printers that come from Captain Ball in Budapest, Hungary. You may know him as Captain Ball on uh, on YouTube. He'll send you the ones you order. And just rubber and then you mount them on your own block of uh, wood that way you can save a lot of postage getting these from overseas you can send them in an envelope these work very well and i'll show you that in my next video the great thing about these templates as i said they're indestructible why don't you just keep them from rusting you can place these on top of a, several layers of paper as many as you can 
on a soft surface and then use a razor knife just to cut around them. And that way you don't have to uh, trace or draw or anything else. Hold them down, cut them out, go to the next one, do more. You can, you can have papers, hundreds of papers done in, in 30 minutes. So as I said, the next video, I'll go into detail on how to make this particular cartridge. This is the model 1855 US 58 caliber uh, rifled musket round. And I'd hope to do it as part of this video, but it just became too long. Uh, it, was, it was really reaching 20 minutes. So it will have its own video soon. I will place a link to the 4th Armory in the description to this video, along with the link to Cap and Ball, uh, where you can get uh, the cartridge bundle stamps that I introduced also. Both are great products. And I hope to have a future video very soon on using the template kit and the bundle kit, making US Model 1855 58 caliber cartridges. So look for that in the next week or so. Thanks for watching.